Today we are going to show you how to troubleshoot a marine device that is showing a flashing depth or not showing a bottom. We recommend checking to see if your issue has been resolved after each troubleshooting step is performed. Before you change any settings, you will need to make sure that your transducer is transmitting a signal. You can do this by tapping Menu and ensuring that Transmit is turned on. If this does not fix the issue, the next troubleshooting step is to restore the settings to factory default. Begin by tapping Menu. Now tap Sonar Setup. Then tap Installation. Tap Restore to Factory Settings. Tap Yes to finish restoring to factory defaults. If the issue persists, the next troubleshooting step is to adjust sonar settings manually. Sonar settings are defaulted to automatically find your depth and rarely need to be changed. Manual settings are specific to your current depth range and will need to be adjusted if your location changes. The first setting is to adjust your range settings. Tap Menu. Tap Range Settings. Here you can set the bottom level of the screen. If you are still getting a flashing depth or not seeing a bottom, you will need to access the menu to configure the frequency settings. The frequencies vary depending on the equipment that is being used. The higher frequencies perform best at shallow depths, high speeds, and rough sea conditions. The lower frequencies perform optimally in deep water as they offer better deep water penetration. If your issue continues, you will need to access the menu to adjust your gain settings. Then tap gain. The lower sensitivity is used for denser floors like rocky bottoms. The higher sensitivity is used for softer floors like mud covered bottoms. If your device is still showing a flashing depth or not showing a bottom, make sure that your transducer is installed correctly. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.